This tutorial for DemiBooks Composer Pro will cover the inspector for a specific asset. For this demo, we are going to work with the dog's ear. First, select your asset on the workbench area. The taxi object is on top of the dog's ear, so we will use the object list to select the asset we want to work with. Once you've selected the asset, it will have a green highlight. Now touch the eye icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. This will bring up the inspector menu for that asset. Here you can change the name of your asset. You can also lock the asset in place on the workbench screen. When you lock an asset, it no longer has a green highlight. Any behaviors or movements will still happen to the object when you use the preview mode. Under the edit heading, you can cut or copy or delete your object. The options under the arrange menu move your asset in relationship to the other assets on the page. Right now, the dog's ear is behind the taxi. The Bring to Front option will move the dog's ear in front of the taxi. It will now be the topmost layer on the page. Using the Send to Back option will move the dog's ear behind all of the other assets on the page. The Bring Forward or Send Backward options move the asset in front of or behind the next related asset. To see the order of assets on the page, touch the Objects icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. Under the General Properties heading, you can change the position of an asset by typing in a new X and Y coordinate. You can also change the size of the asset by typing in a new width and height. Changing the rotation of an object will rotate it either clockwise or counterclockwise. If you want the user to be able to drag the asset around the page, turn the dragging option on. You can set minimum X and Y coordinates so the user can only drag the asset around a certain area of the page. Changing the opacity of an asset will make it more or less transparent. If the hidden of an asset is set to on, it will not display in the preview mode. You will still be able to see the asset on the workbench area. If the Ignore Touches option is turned on, that asset will not react to any user interactivity. Any user touches will pass through to the asset under the one that is ignoring the touches. Because this asset is an animation, there is an Animation Properties heading and several options. The image sequence shows the individual frames of the animation. This is also where you can replace an individual frame or load a new zip file of a new animation. The pausing speed refers to how slowly an animation will pause when acted on by a specific behavior. FPS stands for frames per second and determines how fast the animation plays. If the Preload All Frames option is set to On, all of the frames of the animation will be loaded before the page displays. If the Loops option is set to On, the animation will continue to play in a loop. If the Autoplay option is set to On, as soon as the page displays, the animation will play. If the Tilt response is set to On, then moving the iPad will trigger the animation. If this is set to off, then a behavior must be used to trigger an animation unless the autoplay option is set to on. Under the behaviors heading, there are two options. Triggered by this will show any behaviors that happen when the asset is directly interacted with. For this example, there are no behaviors that happen when the asset is directly interacted with. The effect this option shows behaviors that act upon the asset. In this example, when the dog asset is touched, an audio file will play and the animation will play. If the asset touched is an image, then the inspector menu will show image properties. The image mode decides how the asset sits inside its bounding box. Touching the image option will let you replace the asset with a different image. Replacing an asset in this way will keep all of its settings and assigned behaviors. You can also bring up the Inspector menu by touching and holding on an asset. Touch the Inspector button to bring up the Inspector menu. More details about how to use DemiBooks Composer Pro are available in the User Guide and in other video tutorials.